assalamu alaikum in today's video i will be discussing one of the interesting books and uh, this book has attracted me because of the recent uh, drama which happened in the punjab assembly so the book name is sach to ye hai truth is that uh, this is written by chudri shujaat hussain uh, chudri shujaat hussain is one of pakistan's frontline politicians uh, who remained on the right side of the powers that be through almost his entire political career spanning nearly five decades as a young shine of a political family he witnessed from close quarters the major ups and downs of the country's often traumatic history since the last 1960s however he started dabbling directly in politics from the early 1970s under the total age of his father uh, he became a political player in his own right uh, in 1983, when the then military ruler General Zia nominated him to the Majlis Shura almost two years after the assassination of his father, Chudri Zahuri Lahi. Uh, Hussein, who himself has remained mired in controversies and was often accused of wheeling and dealing during his long and eventful political career, has a huge number of stories to tell about the major turning points in our history as well as offers insight into the good and bad and the scammy uh, side of Pakistani politics. Uh, his recently published memoirs, uh, Sach To Ye Hai, Truth Is This, include some carefully selected facts and gave a glimpse of the intriguing world of the country's politics in which kingmakers often lose control of their own creations. Uh, while the book provides some trusting background about the political players and the games they play the readers uh, is left craving for more details retrospections and analysis which are in unfortunately missing from otherwise uh, fairly uh, readable book uh, these appear to have been left out deliberately in the forward the narrator writes that he has tried to present the truth without any exaggerations or ambiguity but in this simple narration of truth, the author points a one-sided and incomplete picture. However, the book effectively highlights some important details about Nawaz Sharif's advent and ascent in politics under the patronage of General Zia and his close military aides. The writer also points out the important role the then inter uh, services uh, intelligence ISI Chief General Hamid Gul played a crucial at crucial mark or break points of Sharif's political career. Uh, the book depicts uh, Nawaz Sharif as a man who failed to honor the promises he made to his allies and hired those who were good to him. Hussein also pinpoints Sharif's inability to tolerate dissents, his utter disregard for institutions, and his dictatorial mindset. Chapter 7 of the book, uh, titled Nawaz Sharif's Repeated Breaking of Pledges, uh, provides interesting detail of the time his name was first flouted for the Punjab Chief Minister's post in 1985, and of how the military uh, bigwigs requested Chudri Shujaat to ensure that his group of Punjab Assembly members supported this relatively new face from urban Punjab, who was a stranger to the landed political elite in a, in, in, in a show of gratitude. Sharif made promises under oath to take all decisions in consultation with his backers. But soon after he assumed power with the support of Chudri Shujaat and his group, Sharif started to undermine their leadership by buying out their provincial assemblies uh, members in a bit to cut them down to size. Um, the aforesaid chapter claims that Sharif negative attitude uh, forced Hussein's group to move a no-confidence motion against the then chief minister in parliament. But the then uh, ISI chief Hamid Gul stepped in and convinced General Ziaul Haq to help foil uh, this attempt, which ironically was undertaken with the military ruler's blessings. This chapter also gives detail of a meeting held at the residence of one brigadier Qayyum and also attended by General Jilani along with Nawaz and Sheba Sharif, in which the two rival factions of the party were asked to bury their differences and shake hands. The writer claims that the Sharif brother tendered an apology and asked the Chudri of Gujarat, as Hussein famously is known in uh, political circles, to forgive and forget. I remember uh, on this occasion Nawaz Sharif kissed Parviz Allahi's forehead twice and Shabash Sharif embraced uh, Parviz Allahi ten times in ten minutes, here is the other. Uh, 
but the writer says that the truce was violated by Nawaz Sharif yet again. This was the point he claims at which General Ziaul Haq intervened and sternly told Nawaz Sharif in a meeting to take back Parvez Illahi and his team in the cabinet. In the chapter that follow, the author keeps giving examples of how Nawaz Sharif betrayed and ditched allies and party leaders, including the then Prime Minister Muhammad Khan Junejo, and managed to secure the support of the army to make it to the country's top slot. While these details shed light on Nawaz Sharif's nature and character, they also highlight the murky side of our political and manners in which political developments are orchestrated and the people's mandate manipulated. Uh, the author unintentionally also reveals that he and his family remained loyal to the kingmakers and despite being undermined by them many times from the days of General Zia to those of General Musharraf. However, it was under Musharraf rule that the Chaudhry of Gujarat reached the, uh, the zenith of power and glory. Uh, Parvez he became Punjab's chief minister while the author himself led the ruling party's Muslim League Kahaf faction and became caretaker prime minister after Zaparullah Khan Jamali was shown the door by the then military leader. The book throws light on Sharif's second stint as a prime minister and how he opened front against institutions including the armed forces and the judiciary. Uh, the author writes that Nawaz Sharif was briefed twice about the Kargil operation in advance, first on January 29, 1999 in Skardo and then again on February 5, 1999 in Kiel, Azad Jammu and Kashmir. There was another meeting in Lahore on March 12, 1999 about which General retired Abdul Majid Malik told the author that Nawaz Sharif prayed for the success of the Kargil operation at the end of the huddle of civil and military leadership. But when tension with the India escalated and Nawaz Sharif planned a trip to the United States, he expressed ignorance about the operation in front of the civil and military leadership, upon which General Musharraf took out a notebook and read out details of the briefing met to the Prime Minister on the issue. Uh, in Chapter 13 of the book, uh, the author argues that if Sharif had not tried to sack the army chief and divert his aircraft, the army would not have overthrown the government in October 1999. This chapter reveals some interesting details about Shabash Sharif's nervousness on the day his elder brother tried to remove Musharraf and get him arrested but failed. Uh, this chapter and the one following also tell readers about how without taking his jail mates into confidence, Sharif suddenly struck a deal with the military and fled to Saudi Arabia from the Chaklala Air Base in the dark of the night. Sharif had signed an agreement that he uh, would not take part in politics for the next 10 years, which he showed to his liar Ijaz Hussein Batala in the Atak Jail, says the book. A significant portion of the book also focuses on the PMLQ government and its achievements and record of the services between 2002 to 7, including how the author got Mir Zaparullah Khan Jamali elected as the Prime Minister, why Musharraf decided to remove him and how he was subsequently elevated to the post. Hussein sounds better about the last days of Musharraf's rule, especially the development of the free 2008 election days in which the military ruler struck a deal with Benazir Bhutto and passed the infamous national reconciliation order uh, ordinance paving the way for her return to the country and giving a lease of political life to many other accused of corruption and wrongdoings um, the author claims that the two, two, 2008 elections were manipulated to ensure that the female Q did not emerge as a major parliamentary force as it had already been decided to bring back the PPP to power. His, he also accuses uh, the United States of playing a role in the arran arrangement. Uh, the initial portion of this book is dedicated to Chudri Shujaat's family life history, its business ventures, and details of his father Chudri Zahuri Lahi's rivalry with Zulpakar Ali Bhattu in the 1970s. All in all, such to uh, Yehe is an interesting study of how a traditional political family climbs the roofs of power by building the right connection, co-opting the conservating on orthodox religious political forces and remaining on the right side of the establishment. Chudri Shujat's memoirs may appear shallow and superficial because of the absence of details and analysis. Above all, has one-sided views, but for those interested in Pakistan's politics, they uh, do shed a light on what is wrong with the country's politics, its ruling elite, and uh, much more. So, I give it a read, and it's a wonderful write-off. So, give it a read. Allah peace.